let us derive the first equation of rotational motion. We have angular acceleration, angular acceleration, we represent angular acceleration as alpha is equal to rate of change of angular velocity, d omega by dt, where omega means the angular velocity. And we have dw or d omega is equal to taking this dt to the left, it will be alpha dt. Let's represent that as equation number one. Now, in order to get uh, omega and t, we must integrate the equation one. That is integral d omega is equal to integral alpha dt. And we have when t equal to 0, that is at the initial time, we have angular velocity equal to the initial angular velocity omega 0. And after a time t equal to t, we have angular velocity omega equal to, let's say that is that has omega. So the limit here is omega 0 to omega. Here, the, since the variable is time, it is from 0 to t. So when zero, when time equal to zero, angular velocity equal to omega zero, and when time equal to t, it is omega. Now integral of d omega is omega, and you have to put the upper and lower limit is equal to. You can take this alpha out. Integral zero to t dt. So this will be omega first. Substitute the upper limit then. Put the minus and then the lower limit is equal to alpha integral of dt is t 0 to t. So this will be omega minus omega 0 is equal to alpha times first, uh, first uh, substitute the upper limit that is t then the lower limit t minus 0. So omega minus omega 0 equal to alpha t or omega is equal to taking this om minus omega 0 to the light, right it will be omega 0 plus alpha t. So this is the first equation of rotational motion.